More prominently in 1998, we got another sing-along video, this one more focused on the mansion... Sort of. This one came out after I outgrew sing-along songs, so I never really watched it until researching this video, and... This is the one that's breaking me. So this is allegedly a Halloween party at the Haunted Mansion, and we open with our invitation to the party, and then we get Corey Burton. Sure, makes sense, right? Corey Burton. He's the go-to Paul Free sound alike, so why wouldn't he play the ghost host? Here's the thing. He's not playing the ghost host. He's playing the magic mirror. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait, wasn't Tony J the standard voice of the magic mirror at this point in Disney history? Corey's not playing the normal magic mirror. He's playing the weird live-action Hans Conried magic mirror. <laughs> to the haunted mansion, you're invited for a Halloween party. I'm so excited. So for those who don't know, in a number of Disney television specials, most notably One Hour in Wonderland, Hans Conried, Captain Hook himself, played a weird live-action version of the Magic Mirror who could interact with Walt and his guests and cause Charlie McCarthy to be skeptical. I am here, master. Uh, it's some kind of gag. Oh, Charlie, you shouldn't throw stones when I can see Bergen's lips moving. No wonder Disney started hiring the other ventriloquist instead. So, okay. Despite being the go-to substitute ghost host, in this video, Corey Burton's not doing Freeze, he's doing Conried. Just doing Snidely Whiplash instead of Boris Badenov. He's not doing the Hans Conried character who showed up in the mansion in the other sing-along, just the Hans Conried character that most people have no memory of Hans Conried playing, as a callback to some Walt-era television specials. But like, I really don't remember those specials being in heavy circulation in 1998. Maybe Disney Channel re-ran them from time to time, but this was not a prominent and particularly remembered version of the Magic Mirror, at least not among the target audience for a sing-along songs video. Now, Conrad's Magic Mirror does have a Haunted Mansion connection, in that reportedly the footage they shot of him in One Hour in Wonderland was the first footage they tested the mansion's face projection effects with, but I'm gonna venture a guess that very few of the people who watched this sing-along video knew that? Having Corey do Conried as a throwback to specials that the target audience doesn't remember is a deliberate choice to do some real deep Disney fan service. Not mansion fan service, but maybe we'll get more of that as we go? Come on, come on, come on, join in. The Halloween party's about to begin. Or maybe not, since as soon as the kids enter the mansion, this is no longer a party at Disneyland, but a party at a soundstage that makes zero effort to resemble the mansion as we know it. Did the makers of this video know anything about the Haunted Mansion? The Haunted Mansion's a haunted house. Oh, I stand corrected. They're clearly experts. Soon up, you crabbins and ghouls. Dress up and have fun. And those are the rules. You can trick or treat with a skeleton. Make no bones about it. It's fun. Like, you could argue it's supposed to be the ballroom, but the color scheme makes it look like just a different random set. Why pretend this is the Haunted Mansion? Daisy Duck said, hee hee hee, Minnie, I'll go as you, and you go as me. Minnie said, no, here's what we'll do, you go as me, and I'll go as you. <laughs> Daisy and Minnie are apparently going as each other? I did not get that from their costumes at all. But it is a cute couple's costume idea. Oh, yeah, uh, Minnie and Daisy are a couple. You didn't know that? Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Daisy are actually one big polycule. They have uh, other branching relationships outside of the polycule, too. Mickey is actually married to Bugs Bunny. Come on, skydiving is not a first aid activity. And that tangent had about as much to do with the Haunted Mansion as the rest of the sing-along video. Welcome to each and every guest. I am the voice that knows what's best. <laughs> Oh yeah, one of those kids is a young Tyler Hecklin, long before he would go on to fame in projects like Teen Wolf, Supergirl, and Palm Springs. That movie had us believing someone who was in this could land both Kristen Milioti and Camilla Mendez. It was me. I'll be your guide. I'll always be at your side. Where are you? Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Who and where and what I am is for you to guess, my little sad. So Corey, as Hans is the mirror, starts barking orders, and the kids in the video wonder who the voice is, even though the kids in the audience already know. Up the stairs and down the hall, try to find the crystal ball. Come on, crystal ball? Oh, wait, come on. Come on. 
so they find the crystal ball, which contains no Leota, but does feature a kitty song about pumpkins. That's yeah, still better than some of the illustrations of Leota, I guess. That's a pretty good idea. Then Grimmy does come out. Grimmy does come out. Oh, finally, a Haunted Mansion song in this Haunted Mansion video. No Haunted Mansion footage, of course, just old Disney cartoons, including another use for lonesome ghosts. Grimmy does come out to socialize. I guess it's kind of an eerie rendition with inexplicably changed lyrics here and there, but the last time this appeared in a sing-along, you had Thurl doing it, and this does not outdo that at all. Anyway, we're less than 10 minutes in, and that's basically all the stuff that has to do with the Haunted Mansion in this video set at the Haunted Mansion. This thing is called Party at Disneyland, and the only other scene at Disneyland is in the land that hadn't opened yet when they did their other Disneyland sing-along, so sure, they gotta promote that Toontown, but no mansion characters, just Merlin. The night's magic is not yet done. I have been commanded by my lord Mickey to transport you to the party. Let Haunted Merlin doesn't have the same ring. So, like I said, I didn't grow up with this video. I can't gauge its effectiveness as a spooky sing-along video for children. But as a Haunted Mansion adaptation... Yeah, this is the worst one yet. At least the Game Boy game had a good picture of Leota. At least this book had stories that feel at home in the Haunted Mansion, even if they're not with mansion-specific characters. The only things this sing-along has that you'd want from a mansion adaptation are the exterior at the beginning and the song. And the song is downplayed compared to other songs. But this video has what you want from a One Hour in Wonderland follow-up, so if you're in the Venn diagram of people who loved One Hour in Wonderland and were still watching Disney sing-along songs videos in 1998, I'm glad this is here for you. So hurry back, we would like your company.